All right, welcome back, everybody. So, if you guys were following me on the shorts there, I already cut this off at the thermistor. I'm going to have to replace it. Stuck in this uh, glob down here somewhere. Let me turn that off. There you go. Yeah, so it's stuck in there. So, I do have a spare right here full length i could just you know solder that but we're gonna go ahead and just rerun a whole new uh cable in there and i'll get show you guys how to do that on the cell new it should be the same pretty much for everything else so we'll be running new wire through and we'll be pulling this one out so over here on the board side little ring that says th that's the cable you need. This was tucked up and smashed all back there. So you're going to have to fight with it a little bit. But it's not too bad. So just pop this out. Come on. Let go. There. So you want to pop this out. And then there's a through hole back behind your PSU. You can pull this down right out the back. There you are. Now it's underneath this frame over here. Okay, so we do have some, uh, oops, sorry about that. We do have some little clips here holding this all down in to place. Might have to pop those out. To be able to pull this pin up through uh, we could pull it down through the other side um, but I kind of wanted to use the old wire to pull the new wire through uh, but we can try pushing it through by hand see how that works but I go ahead and give this a yank and see yeah okay it's pretty tight in there so we're gonna have to loosen up these clamps and probably snip some zip ties all right, pop these off. Let's get a little flathead. You can open them up. And we'll slide the harness we need out. Go ahead and do that to the one way back here. And again, harness we need. And the rest will be cutting up some zip ties. So, here they are. I was looking for them. Uh, little, little snips here. And we'll cut all these zip ties off. Alright, we got all our zip ties off. So now we got just a loose cable. And here, we do have some tape up there. That we're gonna have to cut away. And I think this is a uh, kind of a high temperature tape they kind of use here. Not exactly sure the name on this of this tape, but damn, that blade is dull. There we go. That is now loose. So, let's grab our new thermistor cable. We're going to untangle it here. So, this is our new one. And I doubt this will work, but. I'll try. It's 
tying the old wire around the connector piece of this thing and see if we can just uh, pull it through like this instead of trying to do the old lost your anklet and your hoodie technique. Oh, do Get you back out of the way. Okay, let's see what we got. Yep, all right, probably not gonna work that way. We'll just do the old push, little push technique there. And it's just, uh, it's gonna be too thick. I'm trying to pull that through that way. So let's yank the old one out. Well, never mind. It wanted to, to start working for us here. So I'll go ahead and give that a little pull. Make sure we're not kinking that, nothing up too bad. Help feed this wire through the top. All right, and voila, made it through. Okay, now we got our cable pulled through. You just want to go ahead and uh, slide this back through that hole, tuck her back down through, and plug her in. Oh, slide it through the hole. Tidy it all up in there. And... Little click. There we go. New thermistor plugged in. We'll go ahead and tidy up this harness, zip tie everything back, and uh, put some stuff together. All right, time to crimp everything back down and tidy everything up. So, we'll insert these back into the clip. And clip those back in place. zip tie these guys together back here and we'll just keep going up and up and up and up and up until it's all zip tied back together all right and there it comes from the clip Zip tie, zip tie. One back in there was a little bit of a pain to get to. And then 
And the train is zip tied as we go. And there's our new thermistor. So, it's all back together now. Well, kinda. It's cleaned up now. So, went from a giant pile of a bunch of this. Now I got all the parts clean, nozzle clean, those screws. I think there's a couple chunks in here. I'm gonna kinda clean up out of there. And then we'll be back to normal. <laughs> so, I'm gonna finish putting this together and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. And look at that. It's together. <laughs> so, a um, couple little issues with the uh, thermistor getting back in the hole. It didn't want to fit. Uh, it seems like the little piece at the end was a little bit thicker for some reason. So, I took a 332nd drill bit here. Just drilled it out a little bit. Got it in there. Got the set screw back in. Uh, now that was back in there now. Uh, kind of went through them threads a couple times in and out. Cleaned them up. You know, I heated up the block and thread the block all the way through. And yeah. So I did that a couple times. I got to make sure I got a good seat now. And we should be ready. To fire it on and see if everything's gonna work. Uh, I got a little bit of buttoning up to do. As you can see, I gotta put the cover back on. It's just three screws, real easy. But there we go. All put back together. So I ended up with like a little bit extra on this end here, but we got it all tied down. Coming out the back there. Nice and cleaned up. And like it never happened. Look at that. Oh, you can see the scar in the silicone there sock. But, uh, yep. All cleaned up. Ready to go back to printing. And, uh, let me just put this together. We'll fire it on, make sure everything's going to work. I want to be real careful with that ribbon right there. Taking this cover on and off. So, set the back end first. Line it up and then slide it down. And that little click's just uh, the cover going around the outside of the USB plug. And we'll get our three little screws. And size two hex head on our screwdriver here. And screw it all back together. And I did have the power cord unplugged the whole time, so you might want to do that. If anytime you're playing inside this thing, just pull that cord out. Yeah. It's alive. All right. So we're reading. 22 degrees Celsius on the nozzle, so we should be working. Let's go to temperature, nozzle, we'll set it to, uh, let's do a 200. And it's reading an increase in temperature here. Let's get this up to a certain temp. When the fan kicks on, the little light will kick on. There's our little light. Fan spinning. Ok, 
Okay, so we're now up to 10. According to the screen, we're at 200. I got my little infrared here. And take a measurement. Well, I'm not getting 200, but this thing isn't really the best for this kind of application. Take a reading of the back. Yeah, so, yeah, with this kind of, this kind of thing, the nozzle's a little hard. It works on the bed good. I'm reading 24 on the bed, machine says 22. So, we got some play in there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're back up and running, I guess. Let's do a quick home. Let the, still smell a little bit of PLA. But we'll turn the turn the nozzle off here and let's do an auto home. The slow descent. That was just a camera wobbling. I got the cheapest, like, camera stand thing I got <laughs> they had. Well, there we go. Everything's working and moving. I guess it's now, uh, try to push some PLA through and make sure it don't leak out the back. But, I think that's it for this video. Uh, we got our thermistor replaced and everything put back together. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.